Hello, I'm Julie Brule, not Yeah, that's my mom. And I'm an intern for the GLAM for University program. And today I'll, I will be introducing the microarray processing project. So my assignment this summer was to help with the development of the microarray processing pipeline. If you don't know what a microarray is, it is basically an array with multiple wells that contain different segments of DNA known as probes. And when you add complementary DNA from a sample, it will hybridize to the DNA already there and fluoresce. Pictures of these can be taken and then you can measure the intensity of each probe, which is associated with the gene to see how much the gene is being expressed. This makes microarrays useful for differential gene expression. There are several manufacturers for microarrays that require different functions for processing the data. I personally focused on affymetrics arrays. So you can see that here. And here are the steps of the pipeline. First, I had to install packages from the coding language R that have the functions I need to process micro, or affymetrics arrays. Then I imported the raw data sets from the gene lab repository. I did a quality analysis of the data to check for any technical abnormalities. Then I normalized the data to correct for background intensities and normalization across all arrays in the data set. And I did more quality checks on the normalized data. Then I perform per uh, differential gene expression analysis to find significantly expressed genes using a t-test. In the last step, because each probe in the microarray is assigned a random number and not a gene ID, I have to use a specific tool that uses annotations from the manufacturer to find the gene that is associated with the number. And finally, I put it all together in a table that looks like this. Basically, for one data set, I have the probe numbers normalized expression values, the log full change value, p-value, adjusted p-value, ensemble gene, uh, gene symbol, and go IDs. And that's what I did this summer. Thank you so much for listening.